En septembre 2025, on s'est rendu à San Francisco pour la conférence annuelle de Notion, Make with Notion. Et là-bas, ils ont annoncé Notion 3.0, une toute nouvelle version de l'outil qui est très centrée vers l'intelligence artificielle. Et notamment, ils nous ont dévoilé pendant la keynote d'Ivan Zhao le fait que désormais, on pouvait avoir des agents IA. Alors, j'ai voulu en savoir un petit peu plus sur quelle était la vision de Notion sur cette nouvelle ère qui démarrait pour eux. Qu'est-ce que ça apportait Qu'est-ce que ça changeait au travail dans Notion avec des agents Et là-bas, j'ai pu rencontrer le jour même, Ryan qui euh, travaille chez Notion dans l'équipe qui crée justement euh, ces fonctionnalités d'agents IA. Donc si c'est un sujet qui vous intéresse et pas seulement Notion mais les agents IA en général, et eh bien je vous laisse avec cette interview en anglais avec Ryan. I thought that would be nice in the first place to ask you what is purpose uh, of um, an AI agent, what key uh, user problems is the AI agent solving, explaining of that stuff. Yeah, I think it's probably good to almost define what like an agent is. Um, I think most people's experience with AI is through something like, like Claude or ChatGPT. You have a text box, you ask it a question, and it answers it. And the way these AI works, uh, they're using all of this huge corpus of training data to try and answer their question, your question, your request, whatever, to it, the best of its ability. When we talk about agentic systems, we're essentially using these models plus this like catalog of what we call tools um, that we give the model. And so the model can take your question, your request, your, your task, and then look at its not only its training data, but this big catalog of tools and figure out how can I solve the user's need with the things available. And so with the previous version of Notion AI, we had some sort of tool use there where it could write to pages, it could create pages, it could search. Um, but with the latest version that we've created, we've given it a huge set of tools. So some of the ones that we already have Um, that were greatly like modified and we added tons of features like being able to write inline databases to a page. This was something we weren't able to do before. But we also gave it tools to create databases, update them, create views, even search and query within a database. So you could ask it, how many tasks do I still have left to do? And it will actually do a more deep search uh, on your database than just like searching across your workspace. And then if you put that all together, you create this system that can actually almost feel like it's like thinking and problem solving for you. And you can give it really complicated tasks that involve searching the internet, searching your workspace, compiling information, and then producing reports, for instance. Um, and this is something a lot more advanced than just uh, asking an LLM a question. Yeah, so that's a vision for Notion 3.0, I guess. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Did you um, teach that whole agent thing, how to behave, what do you say to it when you like develop it? Yeah. To uh, like manage all that this task and like be quite an assistant for us. Yeah. What do you input to the agent yourself uh, we, at Notion? We had to do, we had to do a bunch of really, I, I think really cool things. Um, so we build on top of frontier models that folks like OpenAI and Anthropic provide for us. Um, and then we layer on um, a bunch of essentially documentation. So in all this training data, the LLMs know what Notion is, and they'll know some like loose concepts about Notion, but they won't know the inner workings of it. Yeah, like AI formulas, I guess. Like totally. When you ask ChatGPT or even before Notion AI, like write me a formula to do X, Y, Z, yeah. it would like uh, invent new functions. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. yeah, it feels like important that the agent actually knows uh, the foundations yeah. of the tool. Yeah, honestly, the majority of our work as like an AI engineering team was spent connecting what LLMs are really good at with Notion. And and when I say Notion, I mean. Notion blocks, permissions, and then like Notion concepts like pages and databases. So we almost have to figure out what the LLMs are really good at and then give the LLM an interface to Notion and documentation to Notion so that it can kind of seamlessly work with it 
And then we're building these tools to be able to write to pages and query databases and do all that stuff. So it's almost like we're just trying to build on top of the frontier models and like do this pairing between what Notion is, how it works, and what the, the models are good at. That's how you build uh, the agents, but uh, one uh, another important part is the user data. Yeah. How do you implement that, uh, like in Notion and in general, I guess, how important is the context for an agent? How does it rank like the, the importance and reliability of uh, an information? It can has access to a lot of information. Um, how can it choose uh, what is really important to work with? Yeah, there's there's two parts. One is is we have choice, like we as in as in um, the folks building Notion AI. So enterprise search already does a lot of heavy lifting. So if your agent is ever searching your workspace, we do a bunch of things behind the scenes to try and fetch the appropriate information that you're looking for and rank it and prioritize it. And then we can also, when presenting content like what's in a page or what's in a database, we basically decide what to present and render to the LLM. Um, and we'll do that based on almost like a need to know basis. Like when an uh, agent is looking at a database, does it need to see every single page in that database? Like, Probably not. Would be really good to show it how many pages are in that database and then give it a tool to be able to inspect what all is actually in there. Um, and those are things that we ended up actually building. And I, I do find this context management is one of the more challenging parts of working with um, LLMs and AI because too little context, it has no idea what you're talking about. Too much context, and it could go crazy. It like goes off the rails. Yeah, that, that was kind of my next question. Like, should we like give a lot of context so it has like access to the whole knowledge, or is it better to give it like a small amounts but very specific in general and in Notion? I don't know if there are any differences on on that. I think it comes down to the task, but I feel like a year or two ago less context that was more specific was better. But what's really fun about working in the AI space is that these models are just getting so much better so quickly that their context windows are now huge. Their ability to find and oh, like listen to specific parts of context or documentation is just getting better and better. And so we're almost skewing more towards more context is better. Um, often within Notion too, especially like big pre-existing workspaces, there's just so much content in there. And the better you can do about pulling in the right context, like the better the agent or the model is going to do. Can you t tell us uh, like a bit about uh, what was launched today at Make with Notion? Like uh, how Notion deals with um, the context in the workspaces, the instruction pages, uh, like how it goes and just pull information and how, how does it work um, in general? Yeah, our, our entire context system is it's pretty cool. So like I mentioned, we, we add this documentation on top of the LLM um, and then to that we'll append information about your user, um, who you are, what workspace you're in, um, we've built a system that will also collect the things that you've recently done so that it helps the, the LLM understand a little bit about what you might be trying to do. Um, and then in addition to that, we have our new personalization page that we launched today. And that is one, it's literally just a Notion page, which I think is the coolest part about it. Is that nothing technical. Nothing technical. It's just a page. Um, and we will essentially append that page's content to the LLM whenever you send it a request uh, with an extra little bit of like, uh, we internally we use the word nudge a lot. It'll be like additional instructions that's like, hey, this profile page is actually really important, so try to pay attention to it. Um, and then at the end of that, we'll put your request. So whatever you're typing into like the Notion AI, 
chat box. And that's interesting because in the like fundamental features of Notion, we have the mention, like page mentions. Yeah. And that's very interesting. That's what I like about uh, those instruction pages is that like you can mention pages and it integrates like seamlessly with your usual workflow. Like yeah. you have a page, documentation page, and you just mention stuff and uh, like have shortcuts to it. And it feels natural like to mention a page and tell AI, oh, refer to that sort of thing. And yeah. It feels good. <laughs> yeah. We, we've seen some cool things where people will almost build like linked views of the tasks that they're working on or the people they work with or what team they're on. And what's neat about using linked views in that case is though that data might change elsewhere. And as you use Notion AI, it's just live updating the context that we give it. And so it can just always know the latest about what you're doing and who you are. That's very interesting. I really enjoy Notion AI for that. That's and cool. I'm excited for the next steps. And especially for uh, the kind of automation stuff that you announced, yeah. uh, not fully live yet. But um, how does it work? Like, what do you want uh, the AI to do for your users, for example? We're, we're really focused on our AI essentially reducing like the busy work in your day to day as much as possible. We spend a lot of time within Notion. We have like, I think about a thousand employees. We have feedback about like new and existing products coming in. Um, a lot of internal feedback because we're using our own products internally. Um, and then we're also constantly having feedback from users on you know, Twitter, through customer support, through Reddit, like that is also coming in. And so being able to have custom agents that can be monitoring those things and uh, sending feedback to the right people and teams. We have this agent internally that's got this huge like routing directory database where if there's feedback about, uh, let's say, your sidebar, that goes to, uh, I believe it's the Oregon Nav team. And so any conversation and feedback about the sidebar, our custom agent will detect that and send it to the appropriate Slack channel. That's incredible. So the, the team can just sit there and new messages pop up and they're like, oh, looks like uh, this uh, button is misaligned and the engineers can fix it rather than having to sit and stare at a, you know, let's say a huge fire hose of feedback that's coming in and know exactly which items to pick out. Yeah, so AI is like, previously you were always the input, like you would have to ask and totally. like, and now it brings output like naturally, that's very interesting. Yeah. Also, I really liked um, in your demo, uh, the fact that you can just type a question in Slack and your, how was it called, Oliver? Yeah. Yeah, Oliver. Yeah. Just answers, and, and you're like, that brings the whole agent thing outside of Notion with your Notion context and information. And wow, I, I was truly really like, <laughs> I can't wait to do the same. <laughs> we have uh, one of the custom agents we have internally. It, it works similarly to that one, which by the way, my, my Easter egg is that I named the agent after, that's my son's name, it's Oliver. So that was my fun little contribution. But our custom agent internally will file new tasks when people are reporting bugs. Um, what, but what I didn't have a chance to actually demo today is that the one we use inside Notion also before it files a bug, we'll search our tasks database and see if there's a bug that already exists. So if it does, it will then reply and be like, thanks for the report, here's the uh, task that we're currently tracking. So people can freely report bugs and problems and instead of somebody having to go and like deduplicate the same issue over and over, we can have like one source of truth and the person who reported it can also feel like connected to the fact that like this is already here and my input is being like recorded, but I'm not adding to the team. Yeah, I, I guess when you are working at scale, like in a large company, yeah, yeah. that's very important, like not to have, as you say, like let's have a, a data, uh, feedback database, like if anyone would, would contribute and have duplicates everywhere, that would kind of be messy and that's, oh, yeah. that's easily coming messy uh, oh, yeah. when you are, uh, 
such a large amount of people working on it. <laughs> so that's very interesting. And for the whole enterprise thing, I remember you also had um, like the connectors with other tools yeah. that would work as well. Yep, that's right. So very, very interesting to see how it's like a whole ecosystem now, basically. Yeah, it's, it's actually kind of amazing um, how everything has come together, not just the building blocks of Notion AI that we had prior to building the agent, but all the things like connectors, like enterprise search, even the very like foundation of Notion with the, the block primitive, um, it's all, it has all interconnected and like made the agent so versatile. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to try all of that and build workflows. I want to spend like two weeks after Make with Notion just building stuff. Yeah, I'm very excited about uh, you know automating and everything. And uh, you know you could you can automate a lot of stuff with uh, Make Zapier and other automation yeah, yeah. tools, uh, connecting ChatGPT. But I feel like um, having that agent in Notion connected to all those enterprise uh, research stuff is, a, is next level. <laughs> it's great. We've, we've been using it, uh, the custom agent stuff internally so much. We have this like massive list of features and new things that we want, more integrations. And it's crazy because that's just like almost exclusively from internal usage. And just giving this to early customers, like the list is starting to grow longer and longer. Um, and so we're very excited and also like nervous to like ship this because we're like, oh my God, it's, it's so good at so many of these things that people are gonna want it to do like everything. And so, you know, we'll probably have to build another custom agent to help us sort what to build on custom agents. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> custom agent fitting itself like yes. to. <laughs> yeah, very meta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. That was a nice talk and uh, yeah, I can't wait to build. Awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you make.